it's a from it's from so, very scratch this is totally a green field wow. so you have to implement it right everything everything from scratch so they are they are using salesforce uh, the organization uh, before or they are just uh, switching into the, this psa no, thing they uh, they are using salesforce uh, because they are all having projects in commerce cloud marketing cloud mm-hmm. but for financial mm-hmm. force uh, and billing they have uh, mm-hmm. they are they are tight they don't have resources and people who knows it and okay. uh, this client is called simplus which is uh, mm-hmm. a, a client for us but even they don't know much about financial force and they're struggling to get mm-hmm. understanding about uh, different terminologies so i only got to know one which is invoice planner but the other terminology mm-hmm. which i don't know exactly at the moment don't worry i'll guide you uh, i'll tell you about each psa thing and this knowledge would be enough for you to crack the application okay oh, sorry crack the certification and also uh, as to do contribute uh, in the project as a system administrator so this is our sorry. session 1 and today we'll be seeing i'll be giving you a quick demo of psa so what psa yes. is psa is generally uh, can you see my screen yes yes visible okay so i so let me ask you a question are you comfortable with profiles permission sets custom settings standard objects yes. of psa yes. oh sorry sales yes yes okay there yes, are yes. approval process flow so uh, these are things yeah, you know yeah certified you, you i know, know. At- I know yeah, admin yeah. advance uh, admin both. Yeah, that's that's great. So you will not find any interval in learning places. So what professional service automation by financial forces? So generally, uh, financial force was launched in 2009. After they after that, they have launched many other products. Which one of them is PSA, which is very demanding in current time, and lots of people want to learn PSA. And regarding certification, they are they mm-hmm. have launched their certification in June itself. This June, June 2022. so there are only four certifications and uh, for psa there is system admin and implementation consultant and i don't remember other two so professional service automation uh, is in managed package if you you would be aware about it it is a managed package by financial yeah. force so it is a product of by financial force and they keep uh, enhancing it time to time and uh, so it is basically for service based companies like you told about a company or in in your company you you have you might have as a you are senior you are uh, let's say you are a lead you have resources you uh, you have project managers you have resource managers okay you got so many other projects like so it is yeah. difficult for a service based company to manage those projects so basically it is for them if you have heard about uh, infosys so uh, i yeah. think 2 years back there was an implementation for gst in india when gst was launched so they got the tender of making that software for uh, indian government so for that they have deployed around 1000 employees you know from different fields so yep. and they delivered that project in very short span of time which was very commendable task so for that professional service automation is very important to manage your project your billings uh, your resources how much they are utilized they can even fill their time cards time sheets we fill in and uh, you can uh, divide projects into a particular milestones and after this achieving those milestones you can build uh, build the whatever the expenses are entered by the resources to the client so this is about psa yep. it is basically for you know service based company who have lots of projects lots of resources from different parts of the world and they have to manage their utilization and uh, billing and one more thing billing is not generated in financial force psa it is always done the invoice is not generated in financial force psa it is generated by uh, any third party application you would want to integrate okay so what are we talking invoice here what is invoice basically meaning here in financial force what is invoice 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 you know when you just let's say you got a project okay the so first thing is you yep. gather requirement and you divide in psa you divide it in different milestones let's say you divide do you got a uh, project you first divide it into gathering requirements then you uh, then you do coding then you do testing then you do deployment right so divide these these into four parts okay so after achieving yep. each part let's say you have completed let's say you completed the coding part or let's say you completed the requirement gathering part so for that tenure the 
the new resources might have entered their expense uh, their hours you know uh, we enter hours like eight hours uh, a day for a week they have entered hours so based on their uh, time cards based on their i was on milestones right so after uh, achieving a milestone you can bill it to the client the psa you yep. can generate a bill you can generate a billing when then your third party application will catch that and the psa will provide all the information here like the billing amount the days the task and everything and then in generator application will generate the invoice the psa will provide all those okay. uh, information and the invoice will be generated from that third party application so this okay. is what invoicing means okay and you can mark okay. that uh, this billing event has uh, been uh, this billing events invoice has been generated sure. so let me as we start psa is a managed package uh, by financial force which is installed on our salesforce platform let me show you a glimpse of psa so this is how a psa org looks like this is a training org okay this is a training user this is how psa org looks like so as you can see on the slide course combines theory demonstration exercises quizzes it reinforces PSA applications through features, the functionality, the tools, and lighting components which are provided by financial for PSA. So the leading practices uh, to you do not do customizations. As we are self so developer, we will try to yeah, let's jump to uh, make a apex or let's try to create a LWS component. So most probably they are provided by PSA. So PSA and financial for suggest that don't do uh, don't do lots of customizations rely on the existing ones so, and okay. they are very good in this psa and financial force they keep on enhancing their application in every releases they provide new sets of permissions new configuration in every release so it is a cloud based application which is built relatively built upon salesforce it is it helps to manage your staff your customer just like opportunity you know for sales you know then your staff, your resources, project, and your transactions. Transaction means uh, the part you you know for calculation part. It also does your calculation on your behalf. So key functionality okay. through resource management. You can do resource management, project management. You can manage your expenses, your time card, and generate billing events. So okay. that is it. And and please uh, please ask question if you stuck everywhere anyway. Okay. Sure. So PSA is a software development company, uh, you know, it is for any software development company uh, which handles software development projects. Uh, you have to you know care about a utilization like you have 50, uh, let's say you have you have 500 resources. You have to keep a track on how much each resource is useful. If they are underutilized, if they are overburdened or if they are correctly utilized or not, cause this that is going to affect the profitability for your organization so this is and psa uh, let me tell you psa is the number one awarded as number one psa application professional services automation application this year so it can be helped for your utilization for your resources uh, impact the profitability you can track the profitability how much revenue you are gonna generate you can forecast that and also the skill management you can enter your your resources can enter their skills and certifications in it based upon that you can assign them to projects and i have already told you this case study it giant infosys implemented this gstn implementation where they have uh, deployed around thousand of resources which required this kind of application to manage those resources and deliver the project on time and uh, build the client based upon the work you have done so we, we will be using any fixes company to walk uh, to work through the exercise courses and you you assume different roles during the course and exercise to better understand the psa and the company okay. has a prospect line this course examines how companies psa users navigate and use the psa application to secure and complete the project of the prospect so basically this course is divided into two parts the psa fundamentals is first which consists of 10 sessions and then there is system administrator so in psa fundamentals you will be saying how to use the psa as an end user and in system administrator, it will be considering configuration part, how to do a configuration in PSA. I think you will be, you will get these things very quickly. And that's a good thing for me. Uh, I have trained people who didn't know about permission sets, the approval processes. So they have learned in three, four months. So I think you will grab this uh, very quickly. 
so there are two kinds of user in PSA the first is super user you might be available of this the system admin who can do anything yeah. in your org he has all yes. the bugs and that the yes. second is uh, any normal user any who is a standard user who is using this PSA application the let's say a project admin let's say your resources they are assigned licenses of PSA to come in here and fill out their time cards their expense reports so that they are calculated as a project manager you will be able to you know the time cards entered by the resources uh, you should uh, you know approve them so that they are rolled up to their respective milestones it will be uh, used in the utilization calculation sure so psa user these are psa users so end users uh, resources and psa users use the standard uh, objects of uh, Salesforce. They use account, contact, uh, opportunity, and products. Okay, so there are these kind of users. The first one is resources. They can be internal or external. And let's say, let me differentiate between uh, internal and external. Internal are the uh, resources who are working as a full time in your organization. They are on your payroll and they are working completely on your, and they have a long term goal in your organization. And second one is external. External are someone who who you hire let's say you, that like you said you don't have anyone who knows psa so you might hire someone else for your project for two months three months so that that those are external i'll okay. and resources for resources we use contact object there are, there is a record type first is crm user which is normal salesforce contact and the second is a, a psa resource the second uh, record type so we create that uh, our psa resources in that so your internal uh, internal PSA resources, internal resources will have a user too. But for external users, you don't need to create a, the user because for in, for a, for any resource to use a PSA for anyone to use PSA, you have to assign them licenses, which is uh, quite a bit costly. So you don't need to assign those licenses to someone who is in their in your organization for uh, around two months, three months, or six months. That is not a good practice. You can just simply for on behalf of those, if only their task is to add, enter their time cards and expense entry, anyone in the, you can assign assign permissions to any internal resource or project manager or line manager or resource manager. They can enter their time cards and expense entry on behalf of that. So okay. these are the first uh, resources, internal and external. Then there can be resource manager and there can be project manager they have different responsibility then there are line managers the second one is system admin okay as a system admin you have you will be responsible for configuration and if any bugs arises uh, in the application you will be responsible for that then the third one is implementation partner okay the implementation okay. partner is uh, someone who is with the company to implement the whole thing, whole PSA thing. So this is how you log in to PSA is generally a Salesforce login, how you log into the Salesforce application, you enter your username, you enter your password, then click on login, you will be logged in into the PSA or Salesforce. A PSA application looks like this is app launcher, global search, setup, profile, and you can see here set of you know, a standard object like accounts, contacts, opportunities, these are used for uh, you know PSA try to use these in this their application. Then these are custom objects which are projects, resource requests, time cards, expense reports, skills metrics, reports, dashboards, and there are these lightning components. You can see time entry, the skills and certification. These all are you know custom LWC components provided by PSA. And this is demo PSA yeah. login. I think we are already logged in here. Just enter your username password. I will give you this and you will be logged in into PSA. Sure. So this is your training or you can do any kind of experiments in here. You can break the application yeah. or whatever you want So just practice as much as you can. And this is demo and getting help. There is online help. There is community. If you are on a project, you might you can uh, request for financial force community access. Uh, from there, it is just like any trailhead community where people ask questions. You will also get uh, help documents there. There is knowledge base, groups, support cases you can raise. If you find any errors uh, on your PSA, you are unable to solve it. You can directly raise a case with financial force support. This is community URL. You can log into the community if you are a part of financial force community. Not everyone has access to that. So this is general ecosystem, standard object, account, 
opportunity then there is services cpq resource planning services forecasting project management and project financial services billing you can link psa to directly to the zira the, the managed package is also provided by for that thing other integrations you can do based upon the requirement so this is general pss ecosystem so this is salesforce object uh, products account and contact opportunity so these are uh, salesforce object standard object which is used by a psa uh, they have expanded that thing we will explore that uh, in this session so psa objects are these there are projects you create projects let's say you got a client that is a uh, you got you have a prospect time or prospect client and uh, that is underway the project is gonna come so you can after that opportunity is closed one you can create a project and then you can divide those project in different milestones after achieving certain milestone on those milestones uh your resources will uh you will create tasks and assign that task to resources assignments are created between project task and uh and the resources then the resources will enter time card they will enter their expenses then billing events are generated and miscellaneous adjustment are let's say your billing events are generated and but you forgot to enter any uh, expense report or any expense you have forgot to enter so you can adjust in those miscellaneous adjust so billing events are generated and they are sent to our any third party application uh, which will be generating the invoice okay this is a cycle of psa then again my question i have uh, yeah. billing yes. events what are covered under billing events what actually they cover in billing events they even actually let's say you have a task you have to make a query or you assign a resource a query uh, to make a lwc query editor, and they have yep. made that in, in one week so you will they have entered their time card let's say eight hours per day for five days so it will be around 40 hours and the bill rate for that resources is uh let's say one dollar okay one dollar per yep. hour so they have entered 40 hours so it will be around 40 uh 40 hours okay. and expenses they have made so actually let's say they have required any application or tool currently it is 40 dollar okay for time card entry just assume they have purchased the license to uh, creating that uh, project so let's say the dollar the it cost 10 dollars it will sum up and uh, it will be uh when the time cards and uh entered and submitted the it will go to the project manager of the project then project manager will uh you know uh, approve it and if it approve if, if it get approved it will be rolled up to the actuals actuals are uh, uh, the other name of financials okay what are actuals Act actuals are financials you know all the financial related things are rolled up to the actuals you will see that later as it is starting okay. uh, we will jump to that part later okay so just okay just understand that it is just rolled up to the actuals okay then billing events are can be generated okay like yeah our resources at uh, client has demanded that you create a lwc actor and we have uh, created that so actually after you have achieved that then you can create a billing event then billing this billing event will be uh, will include the expenses okay which is a software purchased by the uh, resource the expenses can be of any type they have to travel which requires gasoline airfare or anything okay it will include the expenses the time card like their bill rate and time are time card the hours they have worked on that this information and the calculation of this the, let's say it cost forty dollars for the time card based upon the billing uh, bill rate of the resource. We have to bill the to bill to the client. So forty plus ten, which is fifty. So this will be included in the billing event, and that billing that information will be sent to our any third party application, and then they will be uh, then it will generate an invoice, and you can send that invoice to the client and receive your billings. I hope you got it. If you have any confusion, you can ask. So billing events generally contains uh, all the let's say billing related information for uh, achieving a certain milestone so this is for psa object are you clear with billing events what billing events are yes 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 i got it now i was confused here i got it now and uh, what is this uh, miss uh, adjustment miscellaneous miscellaneous, miscellaneous miscellaneous let's say you created a billing event okay it has been created but uh, and uh, it has been sent to your client or oh, sorry the third party application but uh, you know you forgot a resource forgot to enter their expenses they have they have made so you can uh, adjust it in miscellaneous adjustment oh, okay as it okay. sounds it is very you know the naming convention is uh, taken care of very carefully in this uh, PSC application as you can see they have covered lots of things when i was impressed there might be a you know scenario where 
uh, resources forgot to enter their time card or any expenses so you can adjust in miscellaneous adjustment so that you don't go into the loss okay and it will okay. appear in the invoice it will appear as a miscellaneous adjustments and you can you know define what adjustments are and the money it has got it so this is uh, let's jump on this workflow of psa let's be first uh, let's create a contact account for any you know yeah. like a typical uh, salesforce workflow we create account account of any company then we create a positive for that account like we have a positive for like say you uh, mentioned some company's name okay so uh, you create a positive yeah we are uh, going to let the typical sales process is followed between these then resource request let's say you got a positive uh, you got a project who requires sales for sorry let's say uh, it requires an lwc expert or uh, it requires a b2b commerce expert or it requires a psa expert a system administrator administrator for psa so uh, when okay. you achieve that opportunity you can uh, request the resources from your resource manager and they can calculate yeah if we have these resources or we have to hire someone okay? okay and these things which do on opportunity can be all di directly done it is not necessary to create an opportunity then create a project you can directly create a project there is no uh, it is just a business process which is followed so you create a opportunity you create resource request and then when the opportunity is closed one yeah you have achieved that project from the client you have uh, convinced the client and then you can create a project then uh, you can create certain milestone divide those projects into different separate part that is called milestone okay and then assign resources to those milestones then those resources will be entering your uh, time cards okay. and their expenses then approve mm -hmm. or reject time cards is based upon your project mm -hmm. manager project manager will do that okay this is done through approval process then generate billing events billing events are generated then monitor project actuals project actuals are project financials if they are rolling up correctly mm -hmm. if, like they, uh, if they are entering time cards and expenses we have to monitor those expenses and then after completing every milestone we can close the project okay, okay this is general okay. workflow of psa okay. and okay. i think this quiz is not available let's jump to the org and show you some demo of these things so this is typical account the dummy data will yeah. also be present in this org yeah you can see lots of companies are there each company would have an opportunity or project related to them then comes at this part contact so understand it carefully so do you have any time limit in how much time you want to learn psa no 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 i'm i'm willing to learn i don't want to mug it up i want to learn things you know and uh, yeah i think a uh, one month is enough uh, if we give one hour uh, each day or if we uh, do on weekends we can give two hours okay yes, okay. yes right. so this is contacts uh, there can be any crm contact right uh, typical salesforce contact for that account contains their contact their name their address their contact number phone number their email so let me show you where it is. let me try to create a new contact this is where your psa your resources are created so first record type is crm contact which is general uh, salesforce contact we create for uh, which is related to the account and the second is PSA resource. So this is where you will create your resources. So please, please yep. this, this one, uh, understand this one. So whenever we talk about resources, we are talking about this PSA resource in contact. So resources okay. are created in that uh, contact object. The uh, resource related data are stored in this one. Okay. Got it. Then there is opportunities. So then there are opportunities. You can see amounts here, the close date, they are closed one. So there should be a project related to that opportunity. And let's jump to projects. See, you can create these projects from here. These are generally your projects you have to manage in PSA. So I'll guide you first. I'll guide you how to uh, navigate as an end user. Then we'll can uh, jump on configuration. You can define the project name. Yep. And then you can define the project type, customer project, or it is an internal project. Internal projects uh, you cannot build to the client and then you can define the account is related to currency you can define billing type so here is an important part so if it is fixed price then 
you can't the milestone thing will not work you know fixed price is you have a project you got yeah we will charge let's say uh, one lakh rupees for this so it will be fixed okay we have to cover you have to develop the project in that certain amount but time and materials mostly companies use that they uh, fill in your hours based upon that your billing is generated okay i hope you are aware of this so yes. we will be focusing on time yes. and materials because that way uh, that is used more and on basically on that uh, this psa you know psa thing works you will learn more concepts on time and materials then there is baseline yes. you can create versions of your project okay different version the baseline version you can define a start date end date and project phase you can define planning requirements everything you can define reason practice and group this is also an important part you can define the reason of that project you can define the pro- practice and group then there are work calendars you can enter the work calendar for the the which this project follows okay then you can define is active you can create a template from this template means if whenever you create a new project template the values from this the value you enter in this uh project record will be copied there and is it billable you have to check this box if you want to uh, build this uh, actuals from this project to be billable to the client time excluded close for time entry after you close the project you can take that mark so uh, no new time entries or no new time cards can be entered in this project cut the time period asked to the rule card rate card set there are many so many other things which you can explore so in templates uh, what templates are we defining here so we you don't need to you can create uh, templates are basically uh, just for our ease let's say the project name and account of fields you entered will be appear there and you can enter those fields there it's simply a template you know it's yep. nothing there project okay. status you can define billing cap you can define on which and after billing cap is applied you can enter the threshold let's say the uh, you have entered uh, 80000 as in threshold 80000 for an threshold and after reaching that billing cap so you you will receive an email of alert okay alert recipient you can define any contact bookings yep. these fields are rolled up as you billings yeah, here these fields will be rolled up as resources enter their time cards okay and if they are approved then those things will be sum up here let's say a project is working on this project and they have entered their time card for this week yesterday i entered their time cards for 40 hours so based upon their bill rate it will be summed here billings okay so these are bunch of other things here this is project let me show you one more thing the projects then you can enter uh, resource request you can request resources then you can enter time cards here and this uh, so many other things what things mm-hmm. can be entered in resource request let's me show you let's say this is a project open this so resource request are basically okay. what resources you require as a name suggests itself you are requesting resources through resource request you are Correct. you you want uh, let's say you want an um, yeah i love to say expert let's say okay then you can enter the skills you can require the skill and the time it is required for how many hours the resources required required and uh, and the bill rate the suggested uh, the bill rate you want the resource so then after that the, those resource request are assigned by the resource manager to your project okay yeah this project required these these resources and we can these request these resources are available layer so let's assign that uh, resource to that project and there is also a resource optimizer a smart staffing is also present in here psa it will show you all the uh, for a resource request it will automatically show you the you know uh, best matches in descending order it will show you the best matches for this Uh, resource any resource request it will match the skills the skill rating you can give one to five you can define that the practice uh, let's say administrator or lwc on anything so here you can see this is your resource plan uh, you you can uh, you can see all your resources here so there are a bunch of resources and their availability let's today and different time you can see here you can this is just a uh, you know example of what psa is just on an introduction purpose you, there are a lot of other planners too there is project planner there is other planners too see green means uh, this resource abi cross is correctly utilized abi cross might will have a work calendar associated with her okay work calendars are basically you can define let's say in usa you general work hours are 8 hours per day in india there is 9 hours per day so ab ross work calendar there are 7 hours per day okay 7 so hours for each day for 5 days a week monday to friday so the assignments uh, she has been uh, assigned 
there can be multiple assign assignment for a uh, resource so it is correctly utilized because uh, the time time entry she has made is seven hours for a week okay the assignments you have created for her yeah. is uh, some sub to seven that's why it's uh, green it is correctly utilized and it, it shows red if they are over utilized let's say their work hours are eight they are uh, in work calendar for each they can only work for seven hours just like ib ross okay so but you have mm -hmm. assigned eight hours for them so it will show red and it will show yellow That's if true. obviously if they are underutilized okay i hope you got you will jump in that later just an overview of am gaming i will jump in this later sure on in detail okay sure, sure. project has been opened so this is a typical project yeah the bookings is this so there is no time entry entered so there is no billings here so this is the bull, uh, bookings you have made okay and you can uh, and you can on the right side panel you can see here generate billing wins for the project project billing project financials you can enter the budget for this one and change request if there is any change request so here from here you can create resource request let me click on that so this is a resource request how more resources are required you can enter here the project is automatically if you uh, create a resource request from this project any project so project will field will be automatically created you can enter the uh, resource role which is required let's say business analyst is required resource request name you can define requested hours you can give here let's say 50 hours anything the start date and end date request priority you can get define then suggested resource if you have any resource on mine you can choose any contact for that resource contacts are generally resources resources are contact okay keep this in mind bill rate you can define here and currency the reason the sub practice and group skills and certification if you want that this is this is mandatory uh, the resource request should have that skills and uh, certification you can define in here okay there are a bunch of yeah. skills certification you can create all of these things you are seeing here these are not standard you can all everything you can create by yourself the reason the practice okay. the skills and so these are customized the all. yeah they can, these all are psa object project resource role okay. I, everything is psa object custom objects by this is how resource request is so this resource request will be created for business analyst and then you can uh, on these resource request the request manager or project manager uh, sorry the resource manager can come see yeah this is the requirement if we have any resources free for this task he or she can go here see yeah this resource is available let's say then tate is overutilized or uh, there is any resources okay you can f apply filters here okay let's only see yep. business address okay uh, click on apply filters click on cross see only resources who are business and list are here okay so right. this is how it is uh, basically you, you can see here and uh, these are stored in custom object you can modify those so are you clear with resource request they can assign then uh, these resource requests you can yes. assign resources on these resources are you clear with this 